Welcome back my friends. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Shayna and today I'm talking about the dark side of chasing a dream because the journey from where you are to where you want to go is not always pleasant. It's not always rainbows and butterflies and merry-go-rounds and all that good stuff. No, it is a bumpy, bumpy road and I don't want to see you beaten and bruised over and I definitely don't want to see you give up. So with that being said, let's get right into it. I'm Shayna and I love sharing ways on how to better yourself and how to create a beautiful life. This video is not meant to scare you away from going after what you want. Of course, that is the complete opposite of what I'm all about and what I stand for. It's really meant to prepare you for the terrain ahead if you choose to go after a dream, which of course I vote yes, Shayna for president. I know that for me personally, when I'm going through something that's not so great, it doesn't feel so great, but I know that it's normal and part of the process, it's so helpful, right? It's like, okay, this sucks, but this is supposed to be happening. It just brings a sense of peace and calm. With the points I'm about to make, it's not like, oh, that was just that person's experience. That'll never happen to me. No, no, no. No. These are universal obstacles across the board and my job today is to help you get familiar with them and to help you get comfortable with them. The first hard truth is that your initial inspiration is short-lived. When you take that first action step to build a dream or even when you just decide to go after what you want, it's usually because this huge burst of inspiration comes flying through, which is great, but that inspiration does not last long. When you're in it, and your plan is not exactly working out the first, the fifth, the 45th time, it is so important to continuously re-inspire yourself and motivate yourself to keep going, otherwise you're gonna be tempted to give up. Which brings me to my next point. You are going to fail over and over again. And if you don't believe me, then read up on any successful person's journey because it is all the same. It is that of the hero saga. You must have the tenacity to keep going despite all of your failures. What has helped me tremendously is just reminding myself that with each failure, I do get one step closer to success. And the most frustrating part about failing is failing at something that was a success for somebody else. Just because something worked for somebody else does not mean it's gonna work for you. I found this to be really tricky, especially when I would take courses and they'd, and they'd say, okay, do X, Y, Z and you'll be successful. And then it wasn't working because I realized I have to find my unique path to achieve my goals, even though my goal may be similar to somebody else's, just because they saw results doing something a certain way does not mean I'm gonna see the same results. So remember that. You're gonna make mistakes. You'll most likely spend money in the wrong places. You'll invest a lot of your time and energy into the wrong projects, but all you can do is find the lesson and learn from it and keep on moving. You're gonna have a lot of ups and downs. One day you're gonna wake up and feel like you're on cloud nine and you're totally unstoppable and then the next day you're gonna feel like complete crap. Just know that it's normal and part of the process and don't be like me and think that you're medically imbalanced because you're not. Being your own boss has its cons. I'm pretty good with self-motivation, so this point doesn't speak as loudly to me as some of the other points, but I do know people who struggle with this. If you usually enjoy the comfort of having a boss, knowing when to go into work, when you're getting out, having your tasks laid out for you, being held accountable, then this is gonna be a real challenge for you. So I would highly, highly recommend hiring a coach or a mentor to guide you through the process. I like waking up and making my own to-do list and getting it done. It can get really lonely. I opened up about this a few videos back and I was just saying that by nature I'm an introvert and I'm extremely comfortable being by myself, but even I recently have felt disconnected and just sort of isolated from the outside world. Straight up guys, it, it can get very lonely when you and only you have this vision that you're so eagerly working toward every day. It can get lonely when everybody else you know is in the quote unquote normal workplace and you're working in this unconventional way and loneliness stems from my next point. There are a lot of sacrifices to be made. Even though you love what you're doing and it feels so fun, there's work to be done and a lot of it. And that, my friends, comes with the price. You just get very used to denying happy hour invitations because you have to stay in and write or you sacrifice the little luxuries in life like getting your nails done and going shopping and going out to eat all the time. You just don't have the money to do it because being broke is the new normal. 
There are a lot of reasons why money is tight. Maybe you're only working part-time or not at all and living off savings to get your dream up and running. You're investing in courses to advance your skill base or all of the above. Point is more money is going out than money's coming in. You must be willing to live your life like most people won't so that you can live the rest of your life like most people can't. Hashtag ain't that the truth. My camera's about to die so we better wrap this up. And the last point I wanna make is that you are going to doubt yourself. And there are gonna be times when you panic and you think, oh my gosh, this isn't working. And that voice will do everything in its power to shut you down. But just remember that the one thing stronger than self-doubt is the belief in yourself. Never stop believing in yourself because that belief is what's gonna triumph that fear and it's what's gonna keep pushing you forward every day even when you feel like giving up. That's it for today, guys. If you like what you see, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great week and I'll see you back here next Wednesday. Bye. Of course, the complete opposite of what... Hello to you too. Read up on any successful persons. I just hit my papers. Yeah. <laughs>